Welcome to Storytime with Grammy Field. Tonight's story is called On Christmas Eve. It's written by Margaret Wise Brown and illustrated by Nancy Edwards Calder. It was the middle of the night, and night of all nights, it was Christmas. The children couldn't sleep. They had lain in bed for hours, listening and pretending. They saw reindeer and sugar plums and angels and stars and wise men. Then one of the children said, let's all go down and touch the tree and make a wish before we go to sleep. So very quietly in the large cold playroom, they took their clothes under the covers and dressed themselves. They put on their sweaters and slippers and socks and bathrobes. In the big quiet house where the people were sleeping, the children got out of their beds. Then into the upstairs hall they went, quietly, almost without breathing. They went past the door where mother and father were sleeping. So quietly through the hall, no sound until the top stair creaked. Then they all stood terribly still and listened. No sound but their own thumping hearts. And now they were creeping downstairs in the middle of the night, night of all nights, Christmas night. Out the window, it even looked like Christmas. The quietest night in the world with snow falling so softly, so quietly. Great green evergreen branches are on the stairs and red holly berries in the hall. Downstairs, it was still warm. The warm smells of Christmas, pine trees, and wood, wood smoke, and oh, wonderful smell of Christmas seals and packages yet not opened. The night before Christmas, Christmas Eve. Quietly listening, listening all over, with eyes and ears, and hands and feet, they went down into the warm, dark, pine-scented hall. They came to the living room door. They listened. Beyond the window pane, white flakes in the blue night, the snow fell down. They couldn't hear it. A piece of wood cracked in the dying plot fire. Sorry about that. The dying fire. Then the children went into the room and stood close together on the soft rug in front of the fire. They couldn't speak or move. It was as though a magic had come true. What do you think they see? Wow, that is magical. Isn't that beautiful? The Christmas tree was all there, trimmed with shiny glints of red and blue and green that flickered in the dying firelight. Silver and gold tinsel hung all over the tree, loads and loads of tinsel, gold tinsel, and in front of the chimney, where they could reach out and touch them, hung their stockings filled with little white bundles and tangerines and strange shapes. If they reached out their hands, they could touch them. Under the tree were more packages, and there was one big package. They all saw it. It looked like an electric train. It went all around the tree. They all saw it. No one spoke 
and no one moved. And then suddenly in the night, through the soft snow falling outside, the voices came. They really came, those voices, so quietly in the night singing. Holy, holy night, silent night, all is calm and all is bright. The children ran to the window. Dark, dark figures were moving outside in the snow. The dark figures carried a lantern. They were grown-up people singing. The children listened. The sound of the voices seemed to fall with the snow. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. The song stopped. There was that quietness of the snow again. The grown-up people moved along outside, dark figures against the white snow. The Christmas carolers, they were the Christmas carolers, grown-up people who went from house to house singing Christmas songs on Christmas Eve. The children quickly turned toward the stairs. They went up the stairs almost running, only as quietly still as they could. And then they jumped into bed with their clothes on. Their hearts were pounding. Then the singing began. God rest you gentle, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. O tidings of comfort and joy. And that's the end of the story. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? I used to go a lot. It's a lot of fun. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you for joining me for story time.